So I grabbed the black racks from the get-go, crashed them together, mimicking that sound of two bucks fighting in hopes that it's gonna draw that mature buck by this funnel point in search of that last hot doe. Well, when I first laid eyes on this buck, I knew what deer it was. We had some history with him. He's the most mature buck on the farm. I know that I'm gonna have to create the illusion that I'm just as old, just as dominant as he is, or else he's not gonna come in and see what's going on. So I grab my extinguisher, I make sure I slide it all the way down to the bottom so I get as dominant as possible, and then I get really aggressive on the call. And I'll even open my hand, get some different inf inflection going, and really get into that sound and really make it get out there and get his attention. And that's a tactic that I've used successfully before on many mature bucks. Because it was so calm out, he wanted to really take his time and check what was going on in the area. I was really limited on movement just because of the fact I was self-filming that night. So I kind of just let him work through the area. As long as he was coming towards me, I knew I was fine. But as you can see, he kind of started veering away. At that point, I knew it needed to get aggressive on the call as that was my only hope to get him to come in and give me a shot. This buck is so old, so smart. He's been in this situation before. He's at a point where he just kind of doesn't know what to do, whether he should go left or right. Typically, you'll just see one flick of the tail and they'll take off and go walk in the direction that they commit to. But this time, he's so indecisive just because he's been through this situation before that you'll see it flicker six or seven times here before he commits which direction he's gonna head. And it just so happened, he started walking away. I knew I needed to get aggressive. He got into some thick stuff, so I got up and grabbed the black racks. I crashed them together just because I wanted to simulate, you know, there's two bucks over here. There's a reason for him to come check it out. Eliminate that uncertainty and get him to commit my way. Part of what I'm trying to do is, you know, create the illusion that I'm two deer and we're fighting over the last hot doe. He couldn't silhouette me or see any movement because of the black racks. And I feel that was really key just because I was self-filming and I really needed to pick and choose my spots. So I feel that that deadly duo gave me the upper hand. Even though it's taken this buck a few minutes to try to circle and get downwind of me, little does he know this is exactly why I put this stand here. For him to get to that point, he's gonna walk right through my perfect shooting lane. And this is the perfect ambush. Called him from across the river with my extinguisher and black racks from illusions. This is an old year. Look at the neck on this guy. If I didn't have the ability to communicate with deer, I'm limited to a deer that's gonna walk by between 20 to 40 yards. By having a calling system at my disposal, I was able to extend my range to out to two, three, four hundred yards, you know, ten times what I would be if I didn't have the calling system with me in the tree. 
That's why it's so key to be able to communicate and manipulate deer within bow range. For a limited time, when you order the Extinguisher Deer Call, you'll receive a free black rack. That's right, you'll receive a free black rack rattling system with instructional DVD. Don't wait until all of the free black racks are gone. Order now. FreeBlackRack.com